Good morning and greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ on this World Communion Sunday. If you're watching this before 9 a.m., I want to invite you to our drive through communion happening here at the church um, in the parking lot from 9 to 9.30. We'll have plenty of stations for you to come by to um, you know, drop off donations to the fill the table or hum. Uh, your offerings, to receive some prayer, uh, as well as to partake in Holy Communion. If you're watching this after 9 or 9.30 on Sunday morning, um, we will have another offering on a Tuesday evening later in the month, so stay tuned on that. But this is worship. This is how we're worshiping right now, so um, let this be a sacred time for you. Let this be an, a moment, an avenue for God to reach your heart today. I want to offer a prayer written not by me, but by Jan Richardson, who I've used before for many prayers and blessings. She's an amazing writer. Um, and this poem, this blessing, this prayer is about World Communion Sunday. And I think it is so fitting. So um, I invite you to, to pray with me, to center yourself, and to let the Holy Spirit fall upon you. Let's pray. And the table will be wide. And the welcome will be wide. And the arms will open wide to gather us in and our hearts will open wide to receive and we will come as children who trust there is enough and we will come unhindered and free and our aching will be met with bread and our sorrow will be met with wine and we will open our hands to the feast without shame and we will turn toward one another without fear and we will give up our appetite for despair and we will taste and know of delight and we will become bread for a hungering world. And we will become drink for those who thirst. And the blessed will become the blessing. And everywhere will be the feast. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, taste, and see that the Lord is good.